after September 11, we cannot anymore ignore that there is huge misunderstanding about the Middle East. And I needed to remember after the Second Intifada and to have the memory that once we had a peace agreement, and I wanted to remember as a child living in Jerusalem, in the street of Jerusalem, seeing Jewish people, seeing Christians, seeing uh, the conflict from the deep inside, seeing my friends getting shot. And I wanted to remember that through all of that, all of that violence, we reached a beautiful peace agreement. And we are all waiting today that one day it will be implemented. So in a way, that's what made me made the book and write the script for the movie. It's a message. Somebody gave me a message of hope and education, and I need that. And I feel that I need to hand this message to somebody else. I was an orphan without a mother or father. I was living among 3,000 girls in an orphanage, but I had a dream, I had hope. And my hope is to be free and to be educated and independent. And my motto was a Gandhi sentence when he said, peace is the way. What it will remain in the heart and in the mind of a reader is the intensity of the places, the smells, the atmospheres. But above all is the hope that the future can and have to be different for the people that still live there that are waiting for a solution. It's about a young girl that lived through a tragedy of her family, a legacy of destruction. Her mother killed herself because she was destroyed inside. Her aunt killed other people because this is the only choices that you have in the Middle East, either to kill yourself or to kill other people. Miral chose the difference. Miral decided that she wants a different life. So through the book, you can see how it is difficult, the alternative way, how it is hard to build peace day by day. But is she going to do it? You have to read the book to see if she will do it or not.